freaking know the herpetologist Carl P. Schmidt. And way back in 1957, Dr. Schmidt here took one for the team in the name of science and medicine. You see, up until that time, Schmidt, like other herpetologists of the day, did not believe that the rear frame colubrid snakes, such as the African twig snake and the African boom slang, were capable of delivering a medically significant bite to humans. While working in his lab in September of 1957, Dr. Schmidt was bitten on the finger by a juvenile boom slang while handling the snake in an unsafe manner. Not thinking anything of it, Schmidt put the animal away and went about his day, even making notes as to how the venom was affecting him. Later that evening, while at home, he became ill very rapidly. Even after he started bleeding from his eyes, ears, and rectum, Dr. Schmidt refused treatment because, in his words, treatment would disrupt his symptoms and flaw the end results. Less than 24 hours after he was bitten on the finger by the boom sling, Schmidt died from massive internal bleeding in his lungs, kidneys, and brain.